And the first for the year's convergence for the Lagos Chamber of Commerce plus Industry and members for the press of Shelly today as the third female president, Toki Mabogunje, who will be in the elected for December, addressed the press. She presented one brief for the state of the economy as she highlights issues with a regard the increase inside the VAT from 5% to go to 7.5% inside the waiting she say go affect production cost of statistics the economy grew at an average of 2.17 percent between january and september 2019 which is below the population growth rate of about three percent in the third quarter of 2019 10 sectors expanded six contracted and three recorded moderate moderation in growth we believe the economy is not growing fast enough to create opportunities for the citizens of this country. We therefore urge government as a matter of urgency to intensify diversification efforts and embrace structural reforms to attract private investment in stimulating economic growth. Considering the role of business in the economy, we advise government to vigorously implement friendly policies to support expansion of businesses. Rising inflation has a profound welfare effect on citizens as it weakens purchasing power. Heightened food inflation naturally escalates poverty, poverty conditions as food is basic to human existence. Intense inflationary pressure also have a negative impact on investment as cost of production and business operation increases. This typically takes a toll on profit margins as sales and turnover declines. Private investment inflows to Nigeria stood at 19.7 billion from the first to the third quarter of 2019. The domination of portfolio investments in total capital importation combined with a sustained decline in foreign direct investment highlights the fact that the economy is considered risky. We should prioritize foreign direct investment over foreign portfolio investment. There is need for prompt disbursement of funds for capital projects. We want government to create effective monitoring mechanisms for proper oversight functions to achieve intended outcomes. It is equally important for government and its agencies to release performance reports to stakeholders and general public on a periodic basis. However, the increase in VAT rate from 5% to 7.5% gives us concern. The new tax regime does not bode well for manufacturers and other stakeholders in the real economy. The new tax regime will affect cost of production and profit margin with consumers at the receiving end. We advise government to utilize the additional income that will be generated by the increase in VAT to develop quality.